Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson looking at surface area of cylinders and spheres, part of the General 2 course. Um, okay, again, like the other sort of topics we've looked at um, within the measurement series, this is pretty easy because they give you both the formulas. Um, first of all, I'm going to look at the uh, surface area of a cylinder. Now, we remember that the area of the cylinder, of, of any shape, I guess, is the space um, contained within that shape. Um, you know, of a two-dimensional shape. So obviously a cylinder is a three-dimensional shape. So when it's looking for the surface area, it's looking for the area of all the sides. So for a cylinder, you've got the two circles and then you've got this curved surface. Now you would have remembered back in sort of year seven, year eight, they probably would have started off with a net of a cylinder. Something that looks like this, you know, a rectangle in two circles and explained to you where the formula came from. Um, the fact that you had two circles, which gave you um, the area of two pi r squared. And then they looked at the area of the rectangular shape. Well, we had the, uh, the circumference of the circle was the same as the, uh, I guess, length or the width of the actual uh, rectangle, which is the two pi r. And then they got the height of my rectangle, which then gives the formula 2 pi r h for the curved surface. So the 2 pi r squared are for the circles, and the 2 pi r h is for the curved surface. But as I mentioned, um, you were given those formulas, so it's pretty straightforward. The sphere you may or may not have done. So the sphere is a bit of an awkward shape to find um, the surface area. So we're actually given that formula, the surface area equals 4 pi r squared. Okay, um, So again, pretty basic stuff. It's more algebra than anything else because it's just dealing with two formulas. You might be given um, different parts of like, you might be given the area, asked to find the radius, you might be given the height, etc. And asked to find the other thing. So I think it's just like algebra. All right, so let's have a look at one question. Um, okay. So let's start off by looking at this example again. If you want to pause it, have a go at it, you're most welcome to. Okay, so it says a closed cylinder has a diameter, and actually a closed, I'm going to underline because it's quite important, has a diameter of 32, which means I've got a radius of half of that, so a radius of 16, um, and it has a height of 50, as you can see by the diagram. Find the surface area of the cylinder, answer in square millimeters. So my surface area, now I mentioned I underlined the closed cylinder because a closed cylinder means I have two circles. It could be an open cylinder, which in that case would just be pi r squared. But in this case, we've got two pi times the 16 squared plus two pi times the 16 times my height of 50. They're both in millimeters, so that's pretty much about it. I put all that together to get 6635 point, and it says to two decimal places, so it'd be 04 millimeters squared. See, not particularly challenging, guys. Okay, the next one, let's have a look. It is a sphere question, this one. What is the total surface area of one dozen tennis balls? Each ball has a radius of 3.5 centimeters answer the correct to nearest centimeter. Okay, so it wants the surface area of a dozen, which means it wants a surface area of 12 tennis balls. So let's have a look at for one tennis ball. So if I look for the radius of this particular tennis ball, we can see the radius is 3.5 centimeters long. So surface area of one tennis ball would be my four pi times 3.5 squared because that's my rule of 4 pi r squared. Remember that rule that we've got on our formula sheet, 4 pi r squared. Now that's for what one tennis ball would be, but I want this for 12 tennis balls. I'm simply going to times that by 12. I'm going to put it in one calculation because that's nice and easy. It says the nearest square centimeter, um, so I'm going to put there 1847 centimeters squared from my calculation. So again, pretty straightforward for that question. Um, that's probably going to be about a two mark question. You get one mark for doing the four pi r squared for the area of one. And then obviously the second mark will come from timesing it by 12. So pretty basic. 
Okay, and our last question um, says, a capsule is made using a cylinder and a hemisphere at each end. The radius of the hemisphere is 2.8 millimeters and the length of the cylinder is 4.8. Calculate the surface area of the capsule. All right, so you notice that there's no diagram. So let's start with that. Um, I'm going to draw maybe a cylinder to start with. Okay, and then I'm going to add on my hemispheres. <laughs> Doesn't look particularly too good, but you can see those pretty pretty uh, well enough. Now it says that my radius of the hemisphere was 2.8 millimeters, and it said the height is 4.8 millimeters. So they're both in millimeters, so I don't need to worry about changing those. So this is kind of like our composite uh, surface area question that all composite area questions that we we're having earlier on but obviously now it's surface area so we've got um, I guess if we talk about this as surface area one this is the area of a curved surface now notice of my cylinder the end parts are not visible okay they're not visible so actually my surface area will not include the actual two pi r squared so when I'm looking for my formula we're actually just going to have the 2 pi r h, that was the curved surface. I'm not going to add the 2 pi r squares because we can't see the circles. What I then have, I've got two semis or hemispheres. If I've got two hemispheres, then basically that means that I've got one sphere. Okay, So I'm going to add on to that my 4 pi r squared, which is of the two hemispheres that I've got, which makes one sphere. So now it's just a matter of chucking my uh, values, 2 pi times 2.8 times 4.8. Now if you want to do it separately, you can. I'm just going to put it into one calculation. That's how it saves me having the problems with rounding later on. My 4 pi r squared is 4 pi times 2.8 squared. I'm going to bang that in my calculator to get 182.966 dot dot dot. Now it says to one decimal place, so 182 point, or well, the nine will go up to a 10, won't it? So make it 183.0. Must have the point zero there, so that I've done to one decimal place, and that's millimeters squared. Um, so that's probably a bit more of a challenging question, but to be honest with you, it's pretty easy. Okay, again, use your formula, you should get the formulas out. Um, just be careful, is it a closed cylinder, an open cylinder? Are you adding the circles on or not? You know, those sort of questions you have to make sure. Make sure once you've got the answer, reread the question just to make sure that you've answered to the correct rounding and also that you've answered what they asked you to answer. Um, that's pretty much about it. As I said, it's more algebra than anything else. It's just substituting to a formula. Um, that's pretty much about it. If you have any issues, let me know. Um, have a crack at the exercises. I'm pretty sure it's around about 2E for this exercise. Have a fantastic day.